Look at the geese going. I don't know if these are the summer ones or the winter ones. I'm not really too sure because uh, it's still fucking snow on the ground. Sorry for my language, but... Uh. Anyway, it's north country, so... Blue skies all around. No clouds in sight. Yeah, it's true because it's really nice out today. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything today because there's really no clouds in sight. So, that's good. Anyway, today is the 30th day of March 2022. It's a vlog video here. It's currently 8.21 here. And yeah, I am been lazy today. I haven't gotten dressed yet. I just got my shorts on and my, uh, well, I got my shirt on, but, um, I just haven't gotten dressed just yet. I don't have to go to work until like 1.35, so really doesn't make sense for me to get dressed at 7 o'clock anymore, but, but anyway, Friday right here of Mountain Dew. Live wire in a, in a uh, not 20 ounce, in a uh, 12 fluid ounce can, Mahi Burst, Frostbite, and this review is coming today. It's the Mountain Dew Hard Black Cherry. Um, anyway, so these are the variety I got, and also got some more Mahi Burst over there. And um, anyway, um, also, in my... Uh, I got one can snapped right there, gingerbread snapped, because I just kept one can. I didn't really like that flavor. I really hope it doesn't come back this year for the holiday season. That flavor is totally gross. So if you're wondering why I got my soda out here, it's because my mini fridge, I have to defrost it. So I turn it off, let it defrost. And... uh So I just uh, defrost it. They tell you got to wipe it down and make sure it's all wiped down and everything. So let's make sure that it's all good. Yep, it's all good. So let's put the sodas back in here. Kind of uh, don't put any more soda up there anymore because it has half room to the frost. So let's uh, turn it on. There it goes. Yeah, it does that thing every time it tr turns on. <laughs> Once you turn these on, the fan starts to... The fan has the... Uh... It's not that it's broken or anything, or it's not like it's broken or whatever. Just means if you turn it off for a while... And it starts to defrost, the fan starts to stop, and then it takes it a while for it to recoup back into, uh, back into, back into working proper again. Might be some dust in the fan. There it goes. Yeah, it takes it a while for it to recoup back into into uh, working. Especially when it was frozen or whatever. Like I said, I want to try to see if I can find something to, to, uh, make that not have to defrost, but I don't think there's anything out there. I think you just, a lot of people have been saying that this is more of a, like a, like a, 
it's more like an uh it's not really they, a lot of people say that they don't recommend buying this because it's more like a decoration piece or something it's less than a it's kind of annoying basically to be honest to have to re uh refrost it and everything every day which you know take the drinks out sometimes I don't even take the drinks out I just leave them in there but um, so I'm gonna um, like I said I'm gonna try to see if I can find something so I don't have to keep having to refrost it every day or defrost it or whatever because it is kind of annoying to be honest But, whatever. I mean. I wouldn't honestly probably get a mini fridge like that again. Um, I'd probably just go back to getting the smaller ones. The cheaper ones. Because, <laughs> to be honest, that Coca-Cola mini fridge still works. So, if this one decides to ever um, just go. Which, yeah, I don't. You know, I hope it doesn't because it cost me a couple hundred. Like a. A couple hundred dollars at least it costs like two hundred dollars for this so if that one just decides to go one day which i don't know when but you know whenever it decides to i got the mini the coca-cola mini fridge and that one still works although it doesn't cool your you know your soda in like three seconds like this one does but it still works pretty good so that's why i still got that one i wasn't going to throw that one out because it still worked that one was just a backup, you know, in case this one decides ever to, ever decides to, uh, not work anymore, which I hope it doesn't anytime soon. Yeah, I think, I don't think it will, but I'm not too sure. I don't think it's going to, because it, I mean, it, like I said, it costs a couple hundred dollars, so, you know. I hope it doesn't, but uh, it probably will last me a couple years or something. But by that time, that little Coca-Cola mini fridge probably won't work anymore. I don't know. I still got the, the power and everything to it, so, you know, it's not like it's not going to, but. Yeah, like I said, you don't even hear that loud sound anymore because the fan is starting to work properly now. It just takes it a while, and a lot of people are probably going to think that it's not working properly, but it's not, you don't hear the loud fan anymore. I mean, you're still hearing, but you're not hearing the really, really loud fan. But Anyway, I really don't have much to say for this video. Um, I'm going to save that live wire review for Friday because I don't have any other reviews coming up on Friday besides Mountain Dew. Because I'm going to be done with my hard Mountain Dew flavors tomorrow because that's going to be the last day. Because I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today. It's going to be the black cherry. Tomorrow is going to be the regular one. And then on Friday, I'll do the live wire 
Mountain Dew, which that's not a hard, but that's a, you know, I'll do a review of that on Friday. So, anyway, stay tuned. Peace. So, stay tuned for this afternoon. I'm going to do a review of the Mountain Dew Hard Black Cherry.